I'm doing this interview under protest. <laughs> As I understand, you are a Mets fan? It's true. I'm from Queens. We are Mets fans. Hmm. Well, hello anyway. I suppose I'll proceed in terms of uh, doing this interview. Uh, this is me, Paginated Report Bear, here once again. I'm very excited. After multiple rejections, I have somehow snagged Kim Manis. I think I just wore her down, so that's fine. Uh, so we've, she's agreed to a sit down and inter do an interview. And Kim is the, uh, you're the GPM of the Power BI desktop team? I am. Sure? Oh, wow. I'm, oh. I'm glad to be here. It's, yeah. it's time that we had a talk. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, that sounds ominous. OK, well, <laughs> uh, I'm happy to have you. I have a few questions, just like with everybody else. All right. and so, you mentioned you were from Queens earlier. I used to watch the show The King of Queens, and that's kind of the limit of my knowledge. But yes. uh, uh, So what's the biggest difference between living in Queens and uh, living here in Seattle? Oh, good question. Um, Thank you. The amount of trees here, many more trees in wow. Seattle than in Queens. Uh, unexpected. Okay. Uh, yeah. The quality of pizza and bagels is sadly, uh, you know, it's much lower out here. Oh, I thought you were about to say it was oh. better. I was like, you'd be crazy. Yes, no, no. Yeah. So I was going to say people are meaner in uh, Queens. Mm, people are different mean. In Seattle, people are much more awkward. Wow. And, and okay. uh, what do they call it? The Seattle freeze? The Seattle freeze. Yes, yes. yes. I, I yes. have experienced that myself. Uh, yes, when people say hi to me in the grocery store, I often am like, what are you talking about? Like, leave me alone. <laughs> so, uh, yes. So, uh, you that go took, grocery shopping? That took some getting used to. Well, bears got to eat, okay? <laughs> All right. Do they? So, uh, <laughs> yes. All right. So, uh, what did you do prior to joining the Power BI team? Oh, well, uh, I actually started my career in Microsoft. Oh, cool. Um, I worked in Office, and mm -hmm. then I worked in Windows. Oh, cool. Um, and then I left Microsoft for a while, uh, and I joined a startup called Zulily, and we sold... Oh, I've heard uh, of them. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. We mm -hmm. sold, you know, stuffed bears and other things for kids and, and babies. It's literally the best store ever. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Something special every day. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, cool. cool. And then you joined uh, joined the desktop team. Yep. And uh, now look at you now. You're talking to a stuffed bear. I'm look fine. at me. Oh, wow. Man. It's, it's huge. Okay. So what's your favorite part about being the GPM for the uh, desktop team? Um, my favorite part is interacting with our customers. Mm -hmm. um, I've never worked on a product where just so many people have so much to say about uh, mm -hmm. what I do. Mm -hmm. And um, I love hearing the excitement about new features. Um, the you know requests for new features, the complaints about some of the things we do, um, mm -hmm. you know it, it's what keeps us going. But mm -hmm. I really, um, you know, hearing when somebody uses something we built on the desktop team to, you know, change how their business is run or they get some insight that they were completely missing before uh, is incredible. That must be nice. I mean, paginated reports do the same thing. <laughs> no, right? no, I know. It's just, you know, I go to these conferences and see you speak, and everyone's like, oh, look, it's Kim. How are the exciting stuff? Oh, paginated report, Baron, they walk out. Well, sad. we love paginated reports. Well, like, thank you. Because uh, thank you. Uh, printing is great. It is. And it is. Thank you. And pages. These especially, are things, you know, Power BI out, desktop sadly just can't do. That's true, especially out here in the Pacific Northwest with all those trees. Yeah. So, yes, good. Uh, so what's the hardest part about being the uh, desktop GP? Oh, the hardest part is deciding what we're not going to do. There's yeah. a lot of things mm -hmm. we want to do. And, uh, you know, we only have so many people to work on everything. And uh, we want to make sure what we are working on we do at the best quality. So that sometimes means that we can't do things that we want to do. Yes. When, when I asked this question to uh, Mr. Will Thompson, he said, you know, one of the things I tried to uh, uh, trap the right word, but I brought up the single version of the desktop that comes up quite yes. a bit in terms of, uh, so when does that happen? Uh, it's one of those things that, you know, given infinite time, of course, uh, we, we want all the power of paginated reports to get to as many users as possible and how to do that best, but, uh, you know, reach it to all the users in desktop. We'd love to do that. Uh, but, you know, as I said, we only have so many people working and paginated report bear, you should learn how to code and maybe wow. we can get you on board. So not only did she not answer the question, I was asking about one version of desktop for report server and for the service. Oh. She rejected another feature that <laughs> I was looking for. So uh, question seven's yes. out. So question okay, seven's well, out. So uh, oh, crap, well, that didn't work out well. Okay, yeah. so well, what feature actually surprised you in terms of just how popular it ended up being? And you didn't think it would be as popular when you actually went and did it. Oh my gosh, um, let's see. One that, I mean, bookmarking is just mm -hmm. a feature that we built for one thing, which was, hey, let me save the state of my report and, um, you know, explore different states very quickly. And it turned into something completely different, a whole navigational tool and people are showing and hiding things and uh, creating these, these crazy reports that just, I, 
could never have imagined uh, would come from well, the future. So this is why I enjoy doing these interviews. I did not realize that was the reason why <laughs> you originally built bookmarks because yeah. I see very few people, like personal bookmarks, that's absolutely what people do in terms of saving their state of the report and viewing, but yeah. that's interesting. You know, the way that feature came to be was um, we had Amir. a team, Amir, <laughs> uh, and a team in Microsoft Research who thought it would be cool to use our undo stack and des desktop to help people um, jump around in what they were doing. So if they were kind of exploring data and they wanted to get back to something they did earlier, they could do that. And that, that's kind of how that idea came to be. And then we morphed it a little bit uh, into what oh, one neat. Yeah, no, no, bookmarks, uh, that is yeah. a very popular feature. You know, bookmarks are coming at some point to email subscriptions. So that'll oh, be awesome. Exciting. Yeah, that'll Can't be wait. Very, that'll be very helpful, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so do you think the desktop will actually be replaced by, say, a web-based experience at some point in the future so those Mac authors can, say, use it? Yeah, more and more we're looking to bring authoring experiences to the web. Mm -hmm. um, we want to make it easy for everybody to create content in Power BI, whether it's Mac users, mm -hmm. whether it's just new users who aren't convinced that they need to download something yet. Mm -hmm. um, and if some, you want to make quick edits. So yeah, yeah, we're going to get there eventually. Will it replace the desktop or just complement? I think it will always be a complement. There's mm -hmm. always a place for you know a thick client and using the processing on your machine and you know having files that you can save and mm -hmm. you know uh, email around. You, you know, know uh, one of the things I was curious about is uh, you have a Windows 10 version of, uh, of Power BI Desktop. Is that we very do. popular? It is. Um, it's quite popular, and that's uh, it's available through the Microsoft Store. Mm -hmm. And uh, what that gets you is automatic updates. And uh, as you know, we ship monthly, uh, sometimes multiple times a month if we have mm -hmm. bugs to fix. And so if you're on that the never happens. Right? Never happens. No, 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 of course. Not. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so if you install the build from the Microsoft Store, it's the same exact build, except you will automatically get updates whenever they happen. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Okay, awesome. That's yeah. really neat. Um, Are you thinking about doing that for uh, the report builder? I yeah. think about a lot of things, but my head's just filled with fluff. So yeah. It really isn't very valuable. Yes. You gotta so, learn to code. Okay, so is it frustrating to uh, that Power BI Report Builder is so much cooler than Power BI Desktop? You know, it's like we're siblings. We're sibling rivals. You know, rivals. it's interesting. Amanda said that as well. Oh, and yeah. So, so she took a slap at the older brother metaphor and yep. something like that. But, you know, Power BI Report Builder was a huge hit when it was first released. Oh, yeah. A lot of the folks on the desktop team came from, from the land of Report Builder. Yes, so. yes they've reminded me before <laughs> of that uh, several <laughs> times. And they don't seem anxious to journey back. It's a they very exciting. I don't either, because it's a very know. exciting so journey cool. ahead of us. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, like things like auto refresh, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes, very exciting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, uh, when will Power BI Desktop then have the ability to create paginated reports? That I could not tell you. Uh, you know, one That's day, not a good sign. No. One day, um, it's something we're exploring, and it's something that uh, we would love to hear from the community. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we pay close attention to what our users have to say. Um, so you should, you know, put a put a thing on user voice and see if you can rally the troops behind it. Rally the troops. Oh wow, that sounds very serious. Okay, no, I could I could try. I'm, uh, they're rallying around a number of other things yeah. right now that I have to keep my eye so, on too. Uh, Padgy, I wanted to talk about uh, Dang it. Stupid a letter Amir I that received. Nickname. Oh, a, oh. a letter I received. Oh, oh. what is um, this? Oh. oh, yes, I did write you a letter. It's in a this video, I? can can we edit to to cut to to the letter? You know, this is this is getting is serious. You know, now she's giving me uh, information. So some, maybe, some so maybe I could do that. But uh, I have Windows Movie Maker <laughs> on my machine, so okay, we'll see. <laughs> we see. We received a letter from Mr. Matthew and mm, uh, Padgy mm, yes. Report. He's Bear. my best friend. Yep. Yes, and. Uh, it was asking to replace Power BI Desktop with mm -hmm. Report Builder. Report Builder 1.0 to 1 be specific. When is 1.0? When did that come out? Before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What does it matter? Like 20, 2007, I think. Uh, but, All right. Uh, it was a good year. All right. So uh, the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> really? Just now you, you decided to shame me on camera to tell yeah, me what Yeah, you know, I don't check my mail in the office <laughs> that often. And you know it had report models, don't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> This really didn't land well. That, <laughs> la that letter, that letter didn't do the thing. It didn't help at all. It was really very, very frustrating. Uh, so uh, on that note, I mean, you mentioned Amanda earlier. So who's a better PM, Will Thompson or Amanda? Costa? Oh my gosh, it's like you know picking between my favorite children. Well, no, no, I'm asking you to pick one so the pageant report bear can maybe recruit the other one to go. Oh, with, I uh, see. With, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. No, not so much. Not Biden. I never win. This is no. this isn't good. No, no. Uh, so finally, uh, oh, good. My uh, my laptop uh, just literally just froze up here in terms of my last question. Uh, so, are you seriously a Mets fan? I mean, come on. 
Um, it's like, you know, you grow up in an era, you know, you're a Phillies fan. <gasps> well, yes, of course, because and there they're, hasn't, they're, they're in first place. They haven't always been in first place. Were you a Phillies More fan? More than the then? Mets. That is true. <laughs> the last time they were in the World Series, I actually went. Oh, wow. Yes, mm, it was, cool. when was it? A couple of years ago. Uh, maybe Mets? three years ago. I, I flew. That. It was Very on Halloween. Much. And uh, my father and I dressed as Pooh and Tigger <laughs> on Halloween, and we went to the World Series, and we saw them lose. Yeah, that's a Mets game. Sad. Of course you saw them lose. It's a typical Mets. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> sad day. No, I was going to ask, actually, uh, uh, who would you like Paginated Report Bear to interview next? Oh, that's a good one. Hmm. Who haven't you interviewed yet? So, have you interviewed there's, Adam? There's plenty of people. Adam, Adam, oh no, Adam Wilson? No, I'm Adam not. He, he is on the list, yes. Okay. okay, Adam Wilson would be a good one. He would be a good one, yes. Yeah. Maybe I do it after review time. Though. So yeah. You know who else would be good? Who is Miguel that? Lopez. Oh yeah, Miguel would be good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm trying to get Robert Bruckner since I mentioned oh, the letter. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah no, he he said was he, in that letter too. He said he was very busy, so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if he's actually busy or fake busy, so I'll have to see. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, he's well, a busy guy. Thank you, Kim. This was great. Uh, happy birthday to your two twin boys. Thank you. Yes, uh, one's a Mets fan, so he must be the least favorite. So yeah, since they're identical twins, we often dress them in different clothes so that we can tell them <laughs> apart. And so one wears the Mariners hat and one wears a Mets hat. Eli wears the Mariners hat. Noah I see. Wears oh, Eli. What's your other son's? Name? Noah. Oh, Noah. Noah. Oh, okay. The Mets fan. Like the Ark. Yes. No. Oh, okay. Yes. yes. If I remember correctly, it's been a while. So. Yeah. Okay. No, thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for watching. This was great, as always. I learned something new. And uh, tune in next time. I believe next will be, um, oh, it could be Justinia from the AI team. So Justina. Stay tuned for that. Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you very much.